Many industries right now, transit companies are facing a shortage of employees, particularly finding enough bus drivers to service routes. Local 22's Courtney Kramer joins us live tonight from Mountain Transit in Milton with more on the impact locally. Courtney. Lauren, there are more than 120 buses behind me, but less than 100 drivers on staff. Mountain Transit's hoping to get more people behind the wheel before school picks up this fall. Any transportation uh, that you need, we service. Mountain Transit is responsible for getting students to and from school in eight different districts around Vermont. They also drive for summer camps, Lake Monsters games, and most other charter needs. Safety manager Chris Ives says the company lost a handful of longtime drivers to retirement during the pandemic. He also says boosts in unemployment benefits have drove applicants away. Cut down on our applications and you know people interested in, in working. We'd like to have all of our routes fully staffed. We'd like to have a couple backup drivers um, just because you never know when there's going to be an emergency um, or you're going to need a last minute trip. Somebody calls and says, hey, you know, I need a bus for today. And we'd like to say yes to them. A shortage of drivers could mean longer route times, but transit staff want parents to know it won't impact whether or not your child has a ride to school. We're going to get those kids to school and home safely. Uh, whether we have to double up on routes, um, whatever the case may be, we're, we're going to get it done. Um, it would just be a little easier with, with everything fully staffed and, like I said, a couple standby drivers. A commercial driver's license is needed to drive the Mountain Transit buses. The company does provide and pay for necessary training. Now, something unique about driving for Mountain Transit, the company tells me they work to accommodate child care needs by allowing drivers who are parents to strap a car seat in the bus and take their kids along the bus routes with them. Reporting live tonight from Milton, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.